adventure we're about to take. A little bit different. I think we've done two of these videos so far on our YouTube channel. We are going on a mega road trip. We're going to be gone for about 18 days, I think. Yeah, almost three full weeks. Yeah, three full weeks. Uh, Gonna see a lot of the country. We left right after I got off for work, so we're heading to Georgia. We're gonna stop uh, and see the Little Grand Canyon, head up to Memphis, going to Branson, Missouri, heading to uh, New Mexico and Texas. Yeah, probably. Yeah, who knows? Uh, we don't know where we're gonna go, really. We only have the first couple days booked, but in this video, we're gonna show you everything we do. All our uh, food, all the breweries, all the zoos that we're going to, all the attractions. I'm excited. It is going to be a great time. We are now entering Georgia. State number two on the adventure. There I go. For the night, we stayed at the Microtel in Tifton. It was about a four hour drive from where we were. And now we're two hours from our destination. It was an okay room. A smaller bed, got really cold. It did kind of smell, but. It smelled like pee. <laughs> yes, it did. It did smell like pee. Uh, but it doesn't need more, so that's positive. And it was about $60 a night. After a two hour drive, we made it to our first stop, Providence Canyon State Park. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's $5 to park your car, but they don't have anyone here attending it. So you take this uh, envelope, uh, hang this on the dashboard. You're gonna punch out, uh, it is currently Thursday. So we're gonna punch that out and then uh, drop the envelope uh, in the box with the $5. And this is our first view of that Providence Canyon. I think there's eight different canyons. Right now we are on the outer rim uh, by the playground. Very pretty. Here's another look from the outer rim. And you can see the canyon floor. It's pretty amazing. Uh, this is in Georgia. I lived in Georgia a long time and I had no idea this existed until recently. Right now we are right by the restrooms in the state park and this view is pretty incredible. Now we are currently kind of hiking the outer rim but the last portion of the outer rim right now. We took about a, a 10 minute walk from the visitor center and we made it to the canyon floor. It is quite muddy down here. You and see like this little stream that runs in the middle of it? Mm-hmm. I don't know if they've gotten much rain much or not. Um, let's see. I think we're gonna go, I believe, Canyon 4 and 5, I was told the prettiest. So let's head there. I think we made it all the way to the bottom. As there's this pathway leading between the canyon walls. I wonder how, uh, how close you get. Okay. And it's a dead end. That's kind of cool. Now here's a little perspective for you. We hiked down, but earlier, when we first arrived, we were all the way up there. Imagine that walk up is not going to be fun. No. It took about probably 10 minutes to walk down. So probably a good 15, maybe 20 minutes to walk back. Uh, it is very quiet here. I'm shocked. But we have arrived at 10 a.m. in July in the summer and you're starting to feel the heat. And it appears, at least for this trail, we have reached a dead end. Also worth noting, like some of these trails are, they're a little, a little tricky to get in. Like you'll have to push away some trees and duck down. We are hiking back out about halfway up our trail. And my shoe had a blowout. <laughs> Someone's shoe had a blowout. The good news is we knew the shoes were gonna get very, very muddy. So we brought really old shoes and well, some shoe didn't appreciate it. 
and we are on to our next state, Alabama. Sadly, the brewery that's right next to uh, Province Canyon, not open yet. Yay, it did the thing. It did it the thing. On to Alabama. With road trips, there comes odd roadside attractions. And on our next destination, we are passing right by the Museum of Wonder drive through attraction. Not sure what this is, but I found it. Oh, uh. How much are like taxidermy animals? Yeah. And a spiky skull. Yeah, look at that thing. The glare is not the best, but. Yep, there's, there's, I don't know what I'm looking at, yeah. And it's uh, just a whole bunch of boxes. Shipping containers? Shipping containers with windows. That is uh, definitely odd. Doesn't really work here uh, with the glare. There's a woolly mammoth jaw, it's 12,000 years old. Look at that, yep. Yeah. Very odd. It's, uh, you have no idea what's going to be in the next window. This and looks again, like a trash fish? Yes, it's very odd. It is, uh, works on donation. There's a little donation box. Look at that. Oh, there's that thing. For lunch, we are stopping at Whataburger because we can't get this at home. For lunch, we went with the avocado bacon burger and then the buffalo chicken ranch sandwich. Now, the interesting thing about the burger, one side's toasted, one side's not. There is an option to toast both. There is an option to toast both, apparently. I didn't realize that. Um, very expensive, though. Like, uh, 20 bucks for two sandwiches and a side of under rings. We made it to our next destination for today, the Birmingham Zoo. We found a donkey and he's so cute eating. Look at him. Just enjoying that hay. We heard the lion roaring from the other side of the zoo. He's not doing it currently, but he is up. So during the winter we're And he's pretty pretty. Oh, look at so him. Been, there was an event. Oh, I thought he was about to get up. Nope, oh, he's going down. <laughs> Nap time. At night. Okay, this is a treat. He is like inches away. Just eating. Oh, he's enjoying his snack. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen this before. You have the monkey. Which monkey is it? Those are Cabrassus monkeys. With porcupines. So the porcupines, of course, can't leave this enclosure. However, the monkeys have an outdoor section or a different area that they can go. Porcupines are so cool. Very unique uh, design here with the monkey. It is not a road trip without stopping at a Bucky's these days. I have a love-hate relationship with Bucky's. No, it's great. I do think uh, it's pretty good. The uh, bathrooms, the nicest bathrooms probably on the road, that's for sure. So many different bathrooms. Uh, the food, hit or miss, now that they got rid of the cloches and it's only in the morning, which was originally designed, but that's sad it's only in the morning and then uh, the parking situation is what I have a hate relationship with but they have fantastic merchandise like why have a whole sign if you only sell them in breakfast it is dinner time and we found something very different Bama box it is a restaurant but it is also a wildlife sanctuary. So we just entered the general store to go to the wildlife uh, park. And inside the store, they have honeybees as well as they have a sloth. 
He's very sleepy right now. This is probably the closest I've been to a black bear. Even in Gatlinburg, I've been pretty close. That's a very large black he bear. He is a giant, guy. giant one. Beautiful, too. Yes. Now, um, their enclosure's not too big. However, for these... the bears. Some of the other animals are Yes, nice. yes, for the bears. Um, now, these are non-releasable rescue. <laughs> and they're making noises. There is a baby in the pouch of this kangaroo. It's so cute. He's very adorable hanging out. They also have a baby kangaroo hanging out with a bunch of baby deer. And here's one right there. Isn't that adorable? Everyone else's enclosure besides the bears is really, really massive. They have buffaloes. Uh, they have, I, I think, elk. I believe uh, bison. They have different types of deers. It does cost $5 to get in here. And now it is dinner. So let's see what they have at the restaurant. Dinner starts out with a roll. They're so good. And then we also got pimento cheese balls. So gotta say this dining room is wild. The main course has arrived. I got the bourbon pecan chicken. That looks fantastic. And then Molly got the bison chili. And for four bucks, you can add on a grilled cheese. Or three dollars, something like that. Three. After that incredibly great meal, but I'm very full, we've landed in their antique shop. Yeah. And here they have a Jack Daniels barrel shop. And look at this. It's like a bar and then it's got a cooler area on the inside. That is neat. It is really awesome. I uh, don't have the uh, $500 or a place to put it though. No. And we are driving a lot of back roads today. Yeah, uh, we're, we're kind of en route to Memphis right now. Mm -hmm. But the sky is really, really pretty with the sunset as these cars pass us. Ooh, that was bumps. But pretty sky over here. And we are stopping for the night. Drove out a little over two hours. And uh, 28 hours into this trip, we're at 771 miles. A lot of driving today, but also a really fun day. It is day three, and we are continuing our drive to Memphis. We stopped at the Baymont, I think in Florence. I was a little bit off the way, but hotels were really, really expensive last night. It was a really good, nice hotel, good breakfast, and now on to Memphis. Right by our hotel, not too far off, while well, getting back on the road, we have this 25-foot guitar player. Here in Motor Souls, Alabama, where at one point there was like a theme park announced to be coming here that uh, definitely seemed like one of those scam things with the concept art wasn't good and obviously the theme park was never built. Didn't happen. This is probably the closest they ever got was this statue. part of the drive we showed you uh, nothing from Mississippi except entering and uh, it did not register that we went to Tennessee oh man it didn't do a thing no there is no Elvis I think that's the character I that believe it chose. so uh, we're in Tennessee a lot but normally it's for the Smoky Mountains of Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg so uh, heading to Memphis today is gonna be very different we finally made it to our destination after a two and a half hour plus drive for today and we are at the Memphis Zoo and Aquarium, which is one of our favorite zoos in the country, probably in the top five for us. And I'm really excited to see, uh, it's been four years since we've been here, so let's check it out. 
the cheetahs are up walking around today. Just beautiful animals. Okay, this is pretty adorable. It is a black bear playing with a ball. And also you can see a grizzly right there. But look at that guy. The red river hog is being adorable in the mud. If you watch these videos, you know tigers are some of my favorite animals. And there is one in the water playing with their ball. Oh my goodness. I can stay here all day. I hope the other two are coming. If you've never been to Memphis before, something very kind of iconic is the Bass Pro Shops in a pyramid. Yep. We went uh, last time we were here in Memphis. It's amazing. And it is very, very something unique. Now we are currently crossing over the Mississippi and leaving the state of Tennessee behind, though we'll be back this evening. And here we go. Maybe. <laughs> we're making our way to Arkansas, which will be state, state six. Yes. State six of the trip coming up. Here we go. Well, welcome to Arkansas. Obviously, the Mississippi River, very big. And the GPS again did not no, it's, it's waiting for it. It's not exactly at the mark yet. Oh, oh, okay. So there's still hope. It'll tell, tell us welcome to Arkansas. Yes, a giant, giant Mississippi River. There's, there's the official state line. And it, uh, it, it Nope, it, nope, the uh, GPS failed. Last night, we decided to go drinking on Beale Street. We hit the town. We did. And the town hit us. Decisions were made. We started the night at the distillery, Old Dominic. Yeah, and that was, I think it was my favorite stop. First of all, they had some of the best bar stools I've ever seen. And uh, the distillery was awesome. We got a flight of different bourbons. Uh, we got old fashions. They also had craft beer for sale for like four dollars. Yes, yes. I had an Elvis, like it was a peanut butter infused whiskey with it like banana syrup in an old fashioned. It was really, really good. Uh, our next stop was the Flying Saucer Draft Emporium, and this was a cool stop. A craft beer bar, but a really good craft beer bar. They had probably like fifty beers on tap. Always changing the lists, apparently. Yeah, they got this crazy loyalty program where, like, if you drink 200 different beers, you get your name on a saucer that goes on the ceiling. And if you complete the 200 beers more than once, you get a different color saucer. It was so cool. We ate there. We had a French dip. It was, was really good. good. You probably should have eaten more food. Yeah, that was the only thing we ate. And then that's when the decision was made. Well, no, then we went to uh, Jerry the King Lawler's bar. Oh, yeah. And it sucked. It was crappy. Yeah, you, it was Friday, and you asked for SmackDown, and she looked at you like you were crazy, the bartender. Yeah, and there's wrestling stuff all over the walls. My favorite thing in the whole bar, there's just a giant poster of Otis, and it says Otis in, like, big letters. <laughs> and then decisions were made. Yes. We, we went, went to the Irish pub, Silky O'Sullivan's. A really cool place. Um, Indoor-outdoor bar, dueling pianos inside, band outside. Outside also there's a goat enclosure so you can have your drinks and watch goats and we had a giant drink You decided to get the one gallon bucket. Yes, it's their specialty drink. It was $23 I believe she said it included uh, beer wine shots grenadine other stuff And you got to keep the one gallon bucket. Yeah, yeah, we did and uh, Yeah, it, it, uh, it, it took a while. I will say like bang for two your hours well, it was a one-gallon bucket. <laughs> yes. It was a dueling piano bar we listened to most in yep. there. And that was uh, the night. Uh, it, was, it was a winner. I had fun. And we are on day four. And we're having an argument or a discussion about this. You call it day four. I call it day three. Because the first day we only drove four hours. So I don't really count that as a day. But you do. I do. I do. Um. Today it's a bit of a drive this morning. We're going five hours from Memphis, Tennessee over to Branson, Missouri. Uh, Branson was somewhere, we one of the few places where we're like, oh, we're definitely going there on this road trip. Uh, really want to get back to Silver Dollar City. Lots of cool stuff in Branson. But to get there, it's a five hour drive through mostly Arkansas. And we're going to be spending probably like four days or so there. 
we are still on the road, but we're leaving back state number six and entering state number seven. Welcome to Missouri. Yay, it did the thing. It did the thing. State number seven. We are about halfway to Branson, stopping for some lunch and a beer. This uh, definitely does not feel corporate-y. We got a flight sharing five different beers. One of them is weird. It's like a jalapeno lemon beer and a walnut wheat. Mm-hmm. And then a pretzel. We also got a pizza. Uh our last destination was really cool. The bartender was actually the owner, so he gave us a lot of information. And then we drove the rest of the way, and we're officially in Branson at Copper Run Distillery. We got to do three samples, and our favorite is probably the spice rum. The best seller is the honey whiskey. Now we're at Talking Rocks Cavern, where they have a cave tour. Since we have about 30 minutes before our tour, we decided to take a nature trail, and we found this lookout tower. We're in the cave now, and it's really awesome. Dinner tonight is at Fall Creek, home of the tossed rolls. Different than Lambert's, not the throne. And she's currently throwing rolls to people. And for dinner, I went with the country fried steak, and he went with the pork chop. We are going to check out the Apple Tree Mall. During our first full day at Branson, we started the day at the aquarium. They have an amazing outdoor structure of an octopus. Yeah, with dancing fountains. Yeah, and then we saw the octopus actually was the best animal that we saw. He was out moving around. I think that's very rare. Overall, the aquarium was really well themed. Yeah, it was very well presented, like a very top-notch modern aquarium, not overly large, and it was about $35 to get in, so like it was a little bit pricey, but uh, what they had was very, very well done. Then we headed to Promised Land, which is a zoo and drive through park. Uh, we got a feed. My favorite was the Mud Jack. I like the Patagonian Cabby. Um, it did kind of feel like roadside zoo a little bit, like you walk past the tiger enclosure and like, oh, that, that doesn't look good. But most of the other ones were pretty pretty nice. Yeah, and it was a drive through uh, section, so we had a... Uh, a llama, no, alpaca stuck his head in. Uh, a whole we were, bunch of miniature horses who were very polite. Yeah, we were very close to buffaloes, so that was fun. Then we headed to... Beyond the Lens. Beyond the Lens, and they have a flying theater there. Flying theater was good, I like that flying it's theater. It's like a soaring type uh, that goes around the world. And then Beyond the Lens... Weird. It, yeah, they don't know what they want to be. It's like a arcade, Dave and Buster's on free play mixed with an Instagram picture museum. Uh, National Enquirer Conspiracy Theory Museum. Yeah, it was a little, a little odd. Then for lunch, we went to uh, Billy Bob's Dairyland. We had a burger. That was really good. Yours Mine was, was massive. Yeah, yours was very massive. And then we headed to Celebrity Car Museum. Oh, this is a... I love that. Yeah, you really had fun. There was a lot of different types of... There was celebrity cars as well as movie cars. Your favorite... Oh, without a doubt. ...was the Mutt Cuts. Yes, the Shaggin' Wagon from Dumb and Dumber. I paid the $10 upcharge. I got to sit in and get my picture taken in the Shaggin' Wagon. Uh, but it's really cool. All sorts of movie cars. They had Dom's car from the first Fast and the Furious, the one that got wrecked at the end of the movie. And the space car from Fast and the Furious 9. Yeah, that was also your favorite. <laughs> After that, we went over. We went over to Branson Landing for a bit, which was cool. Mm -hmm. um, there was they're like their shopping, dining, more or less their downtown Disney area. Yeah, they had uh, fountains. Uh, we went to a brewery. We went to Bricks Brewery. Had some cheese curds, and the cheese I curds were good. I really loved the berry beer. Uh, there's also a Smith Creek Moonshine Distillery. Fifteen free samples of moonshine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And we went to Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah, and we saw the world's largest 
toilet paper roll. And the world's largest ball of string. So yesterday was a very, very busy day. Our second full day in Branson, we went to Silver Dollar City. It is a really pretty park, well themed. They have shows, roller coasters. Yeah, the big reason I wanted to go there was for the new version of Fire in the Hole. Now, Fire in the Hole was a super classic attraction at Silver Dollar City. It ran for 50 years. Last year was the last year of the old one. So they took $30 million and built a brand new version. And it was really good, really it good ride. has audio. Uh, projections said there wasn't as many animatronics as I would think. No, they used like wax figures instead. Yeah, but still a really really nice ride. Had a blast at Silver Dollar City. I forgot how intense Outlaw Run was. That's a very intense coaster. We got lucky that we had no weights. The only thing that we didn't get to do was the cave tour, and that was because it was the only thing with a major weight. Yeah, and it only puts through like 90 people every hour or 75 minutes, so it's it's really tough. I wish there was a better way they could do the tape tours. Uh, maybe it's something for them to work on. Also, we got some really good food. We did. Cinnamon we did. bread, skillets. The skillets are my favorite. We got the tasting lanyard, and we ended it with uh, the night with a 90s like cover band? cover band and fireworks. Day three in Branson was a jam-packed day. We started off by grabbing some donuts at Parlor Donuts, which were absolutely delicious. Stopped by Dick's 5 and 10, the classic 5 and 10 in downtown Branson. Then went over to the Butterfly Palace, which is actually a pretty good attraction. I really like their butterfly enclosure there. You get these little flowers with nectar and you try to feed the butterflies, which is really neat. And then it was a whole bunch of nostalgia because we went to the world's largest toy museum. I had a million toys growing up. I still have toys now. So I absolutely love this place. One of my favorite things we did in Branson. Then we took a scenic view of the town by going up in the Branson Ferris wheel, which was pretty neat. Got some Andy's frozen custard. And then one of the biggest surprises while we were in Branson was the winery. I think it's the St. James Winery. And it was really, really good. Uh, well themed as well. Uh, got some deep dish pizza at Mr. Gilberti's. Then went to a very strange attraction called Retro Mania. Hard to describe it. It's part mini golf, part haunted house, part wax museum, part free play arcade. It, it was odd. Uh, then finished up the night by going to the Hollywood Wax Museum, a much higher quality wax museum. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Also, there was a mini golf there as well. And the mini golf is really well themed. It's all about you're becoming a star in Hollywood. A sleazy agent guy talks to you throughout the entire thing. Fun day. Hey. Hey. Has anyone ever told you, you look like a star? I'm Marty McBooster, and I can boost you to star status if you let me be your agent. Sign right here. For our four nights here in Branson, we stayed at the Spinning Wheel. It was about $250 uh, for the four nights. The bed was really big, really comfy. Um, big shampoos that they give you. The bathroom, decent size. Overall, I really enjoyed it. For breakfast, we are at Bailey Gales. I got this sloppy chicken. This is the biggest pancake I think I've ever seen. It's a 14 inch pancake. And then we got a million dollar bacon. Before hitting the road to Tulsa, we are going to one last attraction called Wild World. Look at the chameleon. Second day in a row, seeing a really cool chameleon. I love his eyes. You have a pair of Mundies in here. And of course, he stops where I can't see him. There he is. Oh no, he got scared by a sneeze. There is a cadet. We are leaving Branson behind. Uh, Table Rock Lake is like the famous Branson Lake. Oh, is that where we're going over right now? Yeah. Look at that. Cool, uh, cool bridge. And we are heading to Tulsa, Oklahoma, though we have one stop on the way. So taking kind of a back route. So we're driving on all these back roads. It's just an elephant and float. I have no idea. Was that at a, like a theme park? Either that or some sort of like local parade? Maybe. Who knows? Oh, looks like we're going back to Arkansas. 
Arkansas. Let's see state. if it will do it. Uh, oh, it did. It did. Welcome to Arkansas. We currently stuck behind a very slow moving tractor. This is a, this is not an ideal situation. Nope. No passing. Hopefully it turns off. Nope, doesn't look like it. Just making the slow turn. We made it to Eureka Springs and the Main Street area is really cute and adorable. And this is part of the reason why we came here. Well, the only reason why we came here is home of the working rabbits. Bunnies, it says. Bunnies. And this rabbit. Oh. Gives the change. Be right over here, though. Yes. Oh. This is all I got. Two, three, four. That one over there. Turn around. So, if you couldn't tell, the bunny gives you your change in receipt. Might be the greatest thing in the world. Every store should have one. There's deer. He's leaning on the road. Well, on the side of the road. Crossing over a river, a lake? I think it's a lake. A lake? And we're officially heading to Tulsa, or what's our next stop? Oh no, we got a, we got a coaster to ride. Oh yes, I forgot According, about... according to the website, the only indoor roller coaster in Northwest Arkansas. Okay, there it is. Well, here it is, the coaster credit. Number 854 for me. Look at that. And it was a bathroom stop for Molly. Everybody wins. Yes, it was. I, not a bad price either. Way cheaper than what it was in Branson. Yeah, like four bucks a piece, I think. We didn't know how much a ride was on the coaster, so we paid $10. Again, we think it was about $4 per person. So we played some game with the extra money, and I'm really sad that I, we didn't get 4,000 points. Instead, we got 63. So we got candy. Well, I think we're almost hit our eighth state. We're entering Oklahoma very soon. I think the first thing you get here is yeah, it's a big giant casino on the right as we approach Cherokee Nation. Look at it didn't, it, I don't think it did the thing on my. It didn't do the thing. Oh, look at that casino though. Look at that. That is uh, quite the casino wow. right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no welcome to Oklahoma sign. We're not on like a big road. We are not. But yes, we are officially in Oklahoma. Oh, there it is. There it oh, is. No, oh, yep, right here. Oklahoma. Nothing. Nope. Still, still didn't do anything. Eighth Street State. Well, our next stop is also a weird one. It is the whale in Oklahoma. Yes, the Blue Whale of Catoosa, it the is. famous Route 66 roadside attraction. And I believe he used to be able to swim in the lake, and that's what it was for, right? Yep, these are all sorts of, like, in either directions, some more classic Route 66 stuff. And uh, there's, there's the whale. We'll get a better look at it. Here is the side profile of this whale. It looks like when you used to be able to swim in there, you could take, like, a slide out of the whale's face into the water. That is actually pretty cool. I don't think I would ever swim in this, uh, nope. this area. It is prohibited to get yeah. in the lake now. Like that, that's not something you could do. I can take a little look inside the whale's mouth. But note, accidents or injuries around the pond. Are not the whale's fault. Nope. And into the mouth we go. I like how the teeth have like, Actually, dividers. He's had, he's had some dental work done. Yeah, no, definitely. And then here's the old slide. And I want to say, oh, at one yeah. point, you could probably go all the way to the top. Yep, that's what be that makes sense. I'm surprised how like the deck looks pretty modern. Like it must have been redone within the last couple of years. Yeah. It's like a modern like plastic deck. Everything else seems old as dirt. Yeah, very unique attraction. But I guess that's what uh. 
Route 66 was all about. Yeah, at some point I want to do the full drive. Not not right now, but we're going to get to see some of the, the Route 66 classics on this, uh, this adventure. Maybe in a year or two. Yeah. Probably more like two. But awesome. Arrived in Tulsa and decided to go to Nothing's Left Brewery. And they have some weird stuff. They have definitely flavored beer. Yeah, there's a Fruity Pebbles one, a Rice Krispie Treat one, berries, watermelon. We'll uh, let you know which one's our favorite. We got two more beers. I got the White Stout Banana. And then you went with uh, Nutty... Uh, that's D's Nuts, Molly. That is the name of the beer. Okay. There we go. Uh, chocolate peanut butter porter. I think out of all the beers, my favorite is that Watermelon Ghost. That Absolutely. was really good. We are currently at Cabin Boys Brewing Company. Uh, we had... I got the Wheat Ale, and he went with the Quad. The yeah, Beardy. The quad. Yeah, and then we also got a giant, giant pretzel. It kind of looks like it's smiling at you. It is! Coming out of the bar, one, that mu honey mustard is spicy. Yes, it, uh, it you'll burnt. finish your beer quick. You really would. And, and we just walked by the Hanson record. Yeah, the, uh, the Hanson brothers started this record company in, I believe, 2003. It's actually funny because uh, we heard Umbop was played when we were at Silver Dollar City like two days ago as part of that 90 tribute band. If you know us, one of our favorite type of bar is a tiki bar. Yeah, we've been on this trip for a, a whole week without hitting one, so... It's time! I went with a banana Tropicana, and he is drinking a zombie. Ooh, that's pungent. Overall, a pretty decent tiki bar. The drinks are strong. The menus, kind of unique. The theme, it is there. I would, yeah, I would recommend it. While staying in Tulsa, we stayed in the Sleep In Suite Central. Uh, pretty good. Yeah. yeah it was like the, 66 bucks. It's clean. It was quiet. The bed was comfortable. Solid breakfast. And then, we didn't show this off, but someone had to buy the Tiki Mug. It you know, the Tiki Mugs are really expensive. This was 20 bucks. It's custom for the bar. It's got the golden driller, who hopefully we'll go see later today on it. And like, it's a really cool Tiki Mug. And I love how it's at. Yeah. Starting off our adventure here in the Oklahoma Aquarium at the shark exhibit. And this is quite the shark exhibit here. It's very peaceful because we're the only ones here. Some really big guys, not this lighting, you know. And sharks. There's two sharks. Okay, onward to the next exhibit. This is a giant sea cucumber. Very interesting. They're American bullfrog. He's giant. And these guys are called water dogs. Swimming around are otters. They're very active. Something I don't think I've seen before is feeding the turtles carrots. There's these little bees left. There it goes. <laughs> the sea turtle is right by the people. And there is the giant Pacific octopus just walking around. These guys are really massive when you actually see them out and about and not hiding. Look at the spiny lobster. He's on the move. He's fully out. Well, it's that time again in this uh, video. Yeah! Well, never mind. No roller coaster. You have to buy the buffet and drink packages. Yeah, so we, did, we didn't have somewhere else to eat lunch. I probably would have done it, but uh, a $20 roller coaster credit on a kid's coaster did not happen. As we didn't want to eat at the pizza buffet for our kitty coaster, 
we are getting some sandwiches. And here is our sandwich, or sandwiches, I should say. I went with the Coolio. You went with the Dutch, Dutch crunch. Yeah, it's got Dutch crunch bread, cheese, avocado mayo, it and they got fresh, cheese. fresh chips that are really good. And here is the golden driller. He's giant. Yeah, I did not know he was going to be this tall. It's uh, one of the icons of Tulsa. And this is what your tiki mug was. My tiki mug, it was much smaller. Much, much smaller. I am very happy he's not making us go to this water park. Look at that slide tower. I'm I'm not a fan of water parks. Look and at that drop pod slide would be terrifying. Yeah, no. The yellow one? Yeah. That is definitely not for me. We are now at the Tulsa Zoo. <laughs> and look who came up to us. <laughs> uh, there's a mud jack also somewhere in here. He's so cute. Bye. And some elephants flapping their ears, being adorable. The warthog is very, very active. I really saw one. He's just trotting along. Looking at it, taking in the sights. I always find it fascinating watching giraffes eat their long necks. Either bending down or eating straight up. And they give you a side eye. There is a baby flamingo. Look how small the wings are. He's cute. Also off of historic Route 66, you have one of the giant muffler men and he's dressed as a space cowboy. That's wonderful. We just went into the shop and the lady said that this one came a couple days ago. Like not here more than a week. The store next door had dinosaurs out front. So someone got distracted. Dinosaurs. There are a lot of dinosaurs. A bunch, a bunch of dinosaurs. Our last stop in Tulsa before hitting the road to Oklahoma City. One of the reasons why we decided to come here is because they do a collaboration with Angry Chair, which is one of our favorites in Florida. Now the flight is a little bit expensive, but we did get a 13 and 14 percent beer. The Peachy Boom Boom is definitely my favorite. The Cherry Allen I don't think is bad for 14%. The collaboration with Angry Chair, the extra stuffed crust, definitely tastes like a 13% beer. And it's kind of sad. Heading out of Tulsa, look at their arena. It's really neat looking it's arena. It's very it's different. Modern. But onward, back on the road. Eating on Route 66 at Rock Cafe, apparently this gave inspiration to the Pixar's artist with their character Sally from Cars. Uh, they did uh, Sally's character after the owner. So at this booth you have Sally, and then you have all different drawings and signatures from the Pixar crew. I got a Jaeger Snitchel, which looks fabulous. And then you went with a hamburger Hamburger steak, steak cooked on their grill that has been here since 1939. Yeah, and those onion strings look amazing too. Smells great. We are currently still driving on Route 66, and I don't think I've ever seen this. It's a one lane road. And it's operated not with a person. Well, no. a person probably does it. I don't know. It might just be robots. Maybe. I don't know. Usually it's a person flipping the sign. Sometimes with traveling, things don't go as planned. We're supposed to get up, get some biscuits. But someone had a hurt ankle. We both have, uh, you have a bad ankle. I have a bad foot. 
My thing with traveling is you kind of have to be flexible and go with the flow. So okay. no biscuits today. And hopefully I'll be able to walk later. Hopefully. Starting the day at Frontier City. We, I've been here once. Have you been here once? Yes, it is a Six Flags park so we get in with our pass. And not, a, uh, not a good lineup of rides closed. I was going to say, uh, yeah, there is a lot of uh, rides currently closed for peak uh, summer. I do have to say they have entertainment before they open. Just got off the dark ride. And I think it's seen better days. Yeah, maybe maybe 15% of the targets work. It was It's in a very rough shape. We went on steel lasso and now the cars. Great job driving. I, I know. I'm, I'm, side side by <laughs> I'm a great driver. In the queue of Wildcat, they have information about other older wooden roller coasters. We rode the Wildcat and the Ferris wheel on you can't take your phone out on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, like I'm all for safety, but I don't think that one makes a whole lot of sense. No, I understand the ones that don't have the uh, the guard around it, not to do that, but like that has a glass guard around it. And the Ferris wheel's in a cool spot. It's like on top of a hill, so you get to see the whole park and you get like the Oklahoma City skyline off in the distance. But no pictures. We saw the saloon show, which was, uh, they have a lot of live entertainment here. For Six Flags, it's really impressive. And then uh, we went on Frankie's Mine Train. Look at the fox. It's a cute sign. Kind of embarrassing riding. It is lunchtime and we're going to Tucker's. And we both got the classic onion burger. You have better lighting. Look at all those onions. Yep, yeah, it looks delicious. At the battered boar, we're drinking a coconut stout and a three peat, both eight percent. Your coconut one tastes just like an almond joy. Mine tastes very uh, fruity. I am kind of sad because they don't have everything on uh, the list right now because I would love to try some of that cobbler. Tonight we're going to go to a few more bars. Our last bar that we went to, they did have a lot of interesting flavors and after talking to the brewmaster, the reason why they didn't have so many in stock is because of the tornadoes that are being, uh, uh, you know, happening in the Midwest. We are now at Fairweather Friends and I'm, yeah, I'm drinking a 14% peanut butter banana does not taste like a 14%. You are also drinking a 14%. Mine's it is chocolate and vanilla. Ch chocolate and vanilla. And then we also have a grape seltzer. We got Parmesan wings here. Now it did take about an hour, so pack your patience. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think that was many people in front of us ordered. Uh, I just think it was slow turning out in the kitchen. And uh, they, look good though. they do look good. They smell good. And then the let's keep jamming was a very interesting beer. It was a chili raspberry beer. Those wings were delicious. We do believe that they probably lost their ticket because the person in front of us, uh, after we tabbed out, got their wings in like 10 seconds. And now onto our next destination. We're in the National Building. Now I like libraries. My mom is a librarian. I like this library. Yeah, this is a very different library. It's a library of like distilled liquors. Yeah, the it, library of distilled spirits. It's all different types. 1,500 bottles. Yes. Uh, from rums to tequilas to whiskeys, everything you can think of uh, is in here. It's and amazing. You are very happy. I do feel kind of underdressed, but here we are. I'm going to have a beer. The library of distilled spirits. It's located at the bar bottom of a hotel, it's and I amazing. think it might have been a bank at one point, as you have to enter a safe to get inside. And then if you turn around here, mm -hmm. some of the you have 200 to sell experience. Yeah, some and of the drinks of are up the here, over here, but they have to go out and get them. Uh, you were drinking a couple of rums I, I, on the I rocks, and yeah. I mean, I drink four or five of the 1500 they offer. Yes. It's amazing, though. It's, it's, it's a very unique place, that's for sure. 
Our next stop is Fassler Hall, which is a German beer garden. We went with a Cheddarwurst. And, and of more importantly, course, we went with a liter of beer. Someone recommended Lunar Lounge to us and we couldn't find it. And we were wandering around. And finally, we found this button with the moon on it. And you press it, the wall walk opens. And we are in Lunar Lounge now. We got a beer and a cosmic brownie shot. It is a pretty uh, adorable place. Yeah. Day 11. And we are starting at one of my favorite foods with biscuits at the Honey Bunny Biscuit Company. On Historic Route 66. Okay, this looks fabulous. I got the cannonball with the cheddar biscuit. Look at it. So good. And then you went with a classic. Bacon and cheese. Also, with a regular bun. Looks great. I'm so excited. I believe the last time we were here, which was a couple of years ago, we both ordered the exact same thing. Oh. Starting our adventures today at the Oklahoma Zoo. And it is going to be very, very, very crowded. It is a Saturday. I absolutely love okapis. They're such cool animals. He was eating that bush just a second ago. The zebras are like right up by the people. Just eating their grass. The blackberry's up. Oh, he just shook. And I think he's about to uh, lay down. Maybe take a little bear snooze. And then there's grizzly bears. Last time we were in Oklahoma, this was being built. They had a preview uh, area and we walked in and it was really, really neat. This is the Immersive Art Museum, kind of like Meow Wolf. Okay, if you've never been to one of these, there is a lot of interactive things where you go inside and in here, it's music playing with flamingos that flash. These places you really never know what's around the corners and it's just different rooms after different rooms after different rooms. Well, we have found uh, that there's definitely at least two slides here. Oh, we'll uh, figure out how to get there. Yeah, no, that's really cool. Like, the slide's the tongue. I have made it to the top of the slide. There's like a dog worm figure with uh, mushrooms. And, uh, I don't know, this other tiny neon world. So there's like a cat on a phone, I don't know, that lives in this sweater. I honestly have no idea. Uh, and in this purse, there's a mouse. So there is a mirror here. And if you press the button, it plays different songs. Fun fact, I have this uh, Polly Pocket. An exact one. So they have a smaller exhibit here that you can pay extra to. And this is my uh, my favorite thing. You sit in this giant bog and then... Howdy do da. Howdy do da. Howdy do da. Howdy do da. That's great. With the cow move. <laughs> I love it. It is now lunch dinner time. Cheeseburger time. Cheeseburgers. He got the trash can punch. It has four types of rum in it, but tastes just like a tastes regular yeah. regular punch. We decided to get some pepper jack cubes, and then we're sharing. What is this sandwich called? The Balboa. It is uh, Alfredo. We're splitting it, and it looks uh, pretty amazing. I've not had fettuccine Alfredo on a cheeseburger before. No, not at all. Our next brewery is here, and I got a stout, it's a mint stout, 
And you went with the Razzle Dazzle. Yeah, 13% uh, raspberry toasted coconut marshmallow. It's, it's really, really good. The short and sweet and the blueberry buns are my favorite here. I'm Some really, of the best beers of the entire trip. Yeah, really, really good beers. I think it's my favorite brewery we've stopped at so far. Yeah, I know. It's a very nice brewery and great beers. There's not one beer I didn't like. You also love the can art here. It's adorable. It is. We've tried some of these at home. Our local uh, brewery has had some of these. Our local craft beer bar. Yeah, craft beer bar. Like uh, the rainbow, bo rainbow sherbet and the watermelon girlfriend we've definitely had. Uh, one thing that I'm sad of, we collect uh, beer signs and I wish this sign was a little bit smaller. Uh -huh. Up next is Sky Dance Brewing, and so far the Juice Wolves is really, really good. We're interested in the Rad Bunny. The bartender suggested parlor across the street. We went with a Coop Hook Echo IPA, a really good hazy, and then look at this. We got a Cheeto Hot Cheetos quesadilla. It looks amazing and looks massive. I'm super excited. With the mirror of... Uh, I, I, I current player of the Oklahoma City Thunder. I, I can tell you who he is. We are at uh, the Cider Company. The OK Cider Company. At Core 4 Brewing Company is 90s and During our stay at Oklahoma, City. We are at the Super 8. Pretty decent room. It's pretty big size. The bed was okay. Pillow's a little flat. Breakfast though. If you come here for breakfast, not the best breakfast at all. But look at the lovely, lovely artwork. We are leaving Oklahoma and about to enter our ninth state of the trip. Yeah, we're making our way towards Amarillo today. There it is. Welcome to Texas. Drive friendly, the Texas one. Does it go? Uh, nothing's happened yet. We'll give it another second. Sometimes it's a rest stop that it uh, goes on. Yep. Takes a travel into a center. 100 miles? Well, that's, that seems like a weird spot for it. That is. And uh, the GPS didn't do it. But welcome to Texas. We are passing, I believe, like a giant windmill. Yeah, I think, I think it's one of these. It's like that. That's how big on they are. The, on the truck. It's massive when you're right next to it. Anyways, about an hour until our next destination. Whole lot of nothing here. We've got counted cow. How many cows we've seen? Yep. So far, we're up to 49. 49 different patches of cows. We have made it. Wonderland. Wonderland is kind of a charming old place. You definitely feel Sparky. the oldness. Yeah. Uh, the weird thing is, some of the roller coasters, you need a minimum of 10 to 14 people to ride. So like this coaster right in front of us, it's an upcharge. It's not included with like wristbands. And you need 16 people to be able to ride it. They won't run the coaster without 16 people. And we've been here for an hour and a half. It has not run once. No. Uh, we've seen a couple other people. We've seen one other couple go up, try to ride it. And that's it. Uh, it's odd. I really, annoying. yeah, it's really annoying. Because uh, I don't know why. And yes, I'm all for safety, but it doesn't make sense. As some of these are kind of more carnival rides. And this is not the only coaster that has that requirement. Uh, the only coaster that is an upcharge. Yeah. I really love the cartoon version of the Hornet there, and I will have to say, this ride has probably the strangest restraints I've ever seen. Yeah, they look if you, like ratcheting T-bars? Yeah. That extend? Yeah, you pull it down and you extend it up. Odd. After a guest recruited other guests, we finally rode. Pretty good ride too. After two hours of waiting. I don't know if 
if I've ever seen this arcade before. Oh, I just flew in something. From 1988? It's ni- oh! So it's as old as I am. And after completing all four coasters and spending about two hours at the theme park, here I'm we are. rewarding you with beer. Yay! I think my favorite beer here was the Cold Fusion Power. It's a sour smoothie. What was yours? I like the uh, Double Cherry Pie, which double, is another sour. Double Cherry Pie. That was good. Road trips are about adventure. And he decided to do something very di <laughs> different. And we are running an airstring for the night. A vintage one. Very, very vintage. Uh, at the Big Texan. And it's kind of co cozy. Yeah. Now, I uh, have said something about doing van life once, and he said, absolutely not. So it's a very weird thing that you decided to book this in a very vintage. Molly, this isn't van life, this is van night. That is, yeah, yeah. We'll see how this goes. Uh, but there is, the bed's actually pretty uh, comfortable. The bathroom, I mean, there's a toilet and a shower. It reminds me of a cruise ship bathroom. It does. I think it might be a little bit bigger than a cruise ship. But overall, uh, I see you. Yeah, I was going to say, I see he opens up every drawer. And this is where we'll be for the night. They do have a shuttle to the restaurant. However, you do have to sign up. So we're probably just in drive. The cow symbolizes that we have made it to the restaurant. And gift shop. And brewery here at the Big Texan. Oh, and apparently there is a giant gator here too. If you want to stay in a more classic hotel, they do have that here on property as well. Definitely a little chaotic in here. You have to check in, which is in the middle, and then when your table is ready, you get in this line. So there's two different lines. The dining room is pretty charming. You're put at uh, giant long tables. We went with the beer sampler. You could sample 10 beers, it's $15. And there's five beers on this side and five beers on the other side. It is a shame it's served in a plastic glass. Uh, we picked one up and it's cracked. The meal starts off with rolls. We opted for the 21 ounce sirloin to share. I do love their plates here. Now we did ask if you wanted to do that 72 ounce steak, the famous one, but you didn't want to go up on stage and do the challenge, it is $200. So we are not doing that, but this does look pretty good. Our meal came with four sides and these sides are smaller than what I expected. Uh, there's mac and cheese, cheesy potatoes, fries, and mashed potatoes. for the 72 ounce challenge where someone has to eat a 72 ounce steak, a salad, a roll, shrimp, baked and baked potatoes. And he just started and you sit on this giant table. They have a countdown clock so you know how well he's doing. They have a list of all the competitors recently that have completed it. There's been two today. Maybe David will get his name on the board later. Inside the gift shop, you can buy the plate that you That's eat pretty, off. That's excellent. I try to send my parents a postcard from most places we go, and uh, well, I, I've got to buy that one. They have a very nice shooting gallery with uh, working animatronics. We decided to get a growler of the pecan porter. It was $12 and they fill up any growler. And now we're back uh, in the Airstream watching cartoons. It is 9.30 in the morning. It's very popular here on day 12. 13? 13. 13. I forgot what day it was. Yeah, we're at the classic uh, Cadillac Ranch roadside attraction on Route 66 and got a spray paint off the car. I uh, spray painted my name. The O uh, definitely ran. 
And he, I don't know what he's painting. I'm gonna guess it's in say in the loop. We'll check back later. And there it is. In the loop, gonna be, probably be buried in like 10 minutes on years and years worth of spray paint on a car. Um, we were told not to bring spray paint, or I was told that. I probably was. And uh, there was, there was uh, bottles that weren't empty. Yeah. But some of them uh, leaked. So yeah, buy your own, bring gloves. I would, I would, yeah, bring your own. I also didn't expect it to be so muddy. So these are my brand new shoes. We gotta clean them now. The road in this section, also spray painted. And we're on the road and about to hit state number 10. We have driven 2,183 miles and now officially crossing into New Mexico. I have never been to New Mexico, so this is a, uh, a new state for me. Now, we're pretty well traveled. I think after this one, there's only like four I haven't been to. Four for me too, but we have uh, two seams, two different. Yep. I think it's, it, it, it was a pretty cool entrance site actually for uh, Yeah. I have went to uh, New Mexico whenever I was a child. I was about, uh, I think I went whenever I was six Welcome and again whenever. Mexico. It did the thing. It did the thing. And it's a Roswell kind of thing. <laughs> Um, I was uh, six and ten, so, but I, I'm excited to be here again. Whole lot of nothing in this part of it. Hi, New Mexico. On our way to Meow Wolf, we stopped at El Camal, and uh, man, this is a huge portion. <laughs> I got three enchiladas. You got a stuffed sofopia. We got chips. We got side of sofopias. It is massive. It looks good though. We spent two and a half hours or so at the Meow Wolf and it was really good. Yeah, this was their first ever location in Santa Fe. It's called the House of Eternal Return and it's neat. It's not on the grand scale like, you know, like the Vegas one or the Denver one is, but I really enjoyed it. One thing, I wish we were there on like a school day because there, were, there was there certain was a lot rooms of you went into and there was a lot of kids and like we went to the one in Dallas on a school day. And that was an amazing time. So I wish we would have gotten that for this experience, but still, man, it's so cool. It's awesome to see where Meow Wolf started. And it is just as high quality of attraction, I feel like, as the other ones. Yes, they had grand scale rooms. Uh, your favorite one, I think, was a clown room. Yeah, with like a whole bunch of like trash art made out of other small things. But yeah, it, I loved like a music room and everything. Yeah, if you've never been in one of these before, it's like an immersive art museum, fun house experience. There's a narrative story throughout that you can dive into as much as you want to, or not at all. And uh, just you go from one room to the next, and you never know what it's going to be beyond the next door. And I, I love these attractions. It's definitely a fun time. Our next stop is something very different. It's a craft brewery cocktail pottery making place. So we're going to make some pottery, apparently. So this place is uh, pretty unique. Uh, you have air drying clay, and it's how much? Five dollars? It was fifteen dollars for all. The, we had extra clay. Fifteen dollars uh, for one small ball. It was about the big as that bucket right there. And I built a snail, and you can paint it. It takes thirty minutes for the paint to dry. About, uh, I think she said two days, twenty-four hours or so. For the clay, I think she's at 30 hours actually. And he is turning around, painting. No, his head fell off. Pink one. A big one. Uh, I will let him deal with that crisis right now. But we are got a flight of beer. It's two separate companies here one that does the pottery, and then one that does the beer. And he's uh, doing surgery right now. We had to get a gen flight because we had to wait until this little penguin here tries. Hey, the gin flight, really nice pours. $13, good gin too. They are. And this is his final uh, penguin. We'll see if he makes them all <laughs> 2,200 oh, miles. God. Our last stop in Santa Fe. 
we are now headed to Albuquerque. The brewery was pretty good. I really like their watermelon. They had a carrot one. Very, very odd. A uh, super friendly bartender. She put on wrestling for me, so I was very excited. And they had uh, late 90s, early 2000 music for me. So I fully enjoyed that part. Another day, another zoo. We've never been to the Albuquerque Zoo before. Well, we've never been to Albuquerque before, and we're spending the day here. The gorillas have been very active. He's just standing on his play structure, looking around. Maybe uh, ready to eat some of that lettuce? We have a clip sprayer. And uh, I'm sad the wombat, I can't get on camera because I just see the fence, but he's really cute. His name is Otto and he likes teddy bears. The hippos are having a cuddle party. There's a free roaming peacock and it's a baby. Up on the hill there, you could see a tiger, which is one of Molly's favorite animals. Mm -hmm. And that tiger's probably thinking, Molly, what kind of fashion faux pas are you pulling today? <laughs> I'm in a Slytherin shirt and a Hufflepuff hat. Yeah. yeah. Boy, she needed a hat for the sun. I mean, I'm, uh, to be fair, Hufflepuff is my secondary house. It is lunchtime and we are going to Dog House. Apparently this was featured in Breaking Bad, but I've never watched it. But it was recommended to us. So we didn't know how the dog house worked. They do have an indoor dining room that you can go in and order, but we decided to do the classic way, I believe, it's the classic way, and eat in our cars and order from our cars. You got a half mustard, and I went with a chili cheese dog. It looks very messy, but smells great. Our next stop is Sandia Peak Tramway. When we knew we were headed to Albuquerque, this was what I was looking forward to by far the most out of every anything on our potential hit list. Uh, it looks very far up. After climbing all those stairs, we are in line for the tram, which had just arrived. And we are officially We're moving faster than I thought we would. We saw some black bears, or other people did. I didn't. And we have made it all the way to the top. The town down there, you can barely see. Incredible views. And there, the trams departing from the top. In that view again. Something kind of unique and different. Most just have a map of your view. This one, you look in the tube. Like that right there is the South Peak. And here is the view from the other side of the mountain. It's very pretty. There are some trails that you can hike and walk. Uh, I believe I read like you can walk down the mountain. It's just eight milers or so. Molly, I don't plan on walking down the mountain. No? Yeah? You didn't want to do that? I do not. Oh, huh? well. Apparently, we are not walking down the mountain. I don't know what we're going to do for the next rest of the day, but definitely not that. We are at Cliff's Edge, and well, there is no barricade. Nope. But there's the city again. Today is day 14 of our adventure, and it's kind of interesting. This is as far west as we're going in the country here in Albuquerque, and you think back to like where this adventure began on day two, one of our first stops was Natural Beauty in the Little Grand Canyon in Georgia. This is, um... Very different. Yeah, this is on a bit of a larger scale. Also, how does this place serve booze and then just let people wander around cliffs? Like, this attraction is not lawyered up at all. This is kind of a very odd place, as there's old ski lifts everywhere. everywhere. And, uh, yeah, it's free roaming. Around. There's a lot of different trails and uh, some steep uh, drop-offs. Not this one. This one. Nice, nice and safe up here. Yes. And we're about to take the tram heading back down. Went to a nearby brewery called Steel Bender. 
I went with this cherry dynamite, really, really good, but it was tart. And then he went with the strawberry rhubarb wheat, which is, I mean, you can taste the strawberry. We're having another round and I completely forgot to show you the queso and dip. It was really, really good. Green chilies in there. Yeah. It was only six fifty. It's delicious. And uh, having another, I'm having a half and wisen. I got a double IPA. It's actually my favorite out of the ones we've had here. And it is dinner time. We decided to share a brisket quesadilla. This thing's massive. It comes with, of course, guacamole, salsa, uh, sour cream. We got rice, and then what did you get? Cabecitas, which I thought was something with pork. Turns out it's like squash stew. There we go. We have made it to the Old Town Plaza. We're just kind of walking. Most things have, unfortunately, closed for the evening. And here is another look at Old Town. Unfortunately, the candy uh, store. And the winery. And the winery are both closed. It is uh, 7.50 p.m. Gonna have some drinks at Outpost 1706. They have the Yankee game on. Waiting for that big comeback in the day. Yeah, not gonna happen. Who knows, maybe. And then we got a flight. It is all local beers. The little beers are adorable though. They are. Our last day in Albuquerque. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, film the room. We stayed in a sleep in. It was okay. It was uh, by the airport. Pretty good breakfast, small room. And now we're at Cliff's Amusement Park waiting for uh, the day to start. So one of the reasons why we came here. The only reason why we came here. Is this ride right here. The New Mexico Rattler. It's a... Uh, the major wooden coaster. Now I get in that. So sad. It actually did open. So we hopefully get a ride. And we were in and out. Did the three rides. Did a couple other rides too. We're here about an hour and 15 minutes and onward to our next adventure. For about two hours, we stopped in Roswell, New Mexico and checked out all the tourist uh, attractions. Yeah, first we went to like a selfie museum that was really odd. It was, yes. Also, the, all the attractions here were really cheap. They were. And then we went to the International UFO Museum. Which is actually a, a pretty well done attraction. Yeah, they had a lot of videos. There was a lot of historical, you know, moments and, uh, the, and affirmations. And, yeah, they had a, a full sale like UFO that moved and lit up that the, the Travel Channel made. Yeah. And then I think my favorite was the uh, black light yeah, attraction. Kind of like an alien fun house. It was. Uh, there was a lot of like uh, moving motion sensor animatronics uh, that you could buy at, you know, uh, Spirit, Halloween. Spirit Halloween. But uh, it was really fun. Not quite as fun as that McDonald's though. They have an alien themed McDonald's with a play place and all the McDonald's land characters you know and love, especially Spaceman Grimmis. Yes. Uh, it was a time, and now we're going to head out and go to Frisco, Texas. Yeah, we got about an eight-hour drive to the middle of Texas. It's going to be, what I'm guessing is going to be the worst drive of the trip. We had to uh, choose between spending more time here or a Lazy River baseball game. Decided to get some Dion's Pizza. We got the Duke that has turkey on it. It is morning and we finally made it to Texas. I love how a lot of uh, hotels will have the shape of Texas as their waffle maker. Our adventure has taken us to Six Flags over Texas. We'll be monitoring your progress from these displays on my left. The Aquaman coaster was unfortunately closed. So the next best thing, dinosaurs. Aquaman was closed at first. Who else was close? Something else. Oh, the log flu. And now, Texas Giant. Sad. I think Mr. Freeze has one of the coolest entrances to any of the roller coasters. And it's a great ride. And it's a pretty good ride, yes. And that will probably uh, do it for our time here at Six Flags Over Texas. We were not, about three hours. Yeah, not bad. We got on a lot of rides. 
just a lot of rides were also broken. <laughs> um, but I love their dark ride. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that's a, a Six Flags ride. That's amazing. And I love the dinosaur safari Jeep thing too. Yeah, dinos. When in Texas, we have to have some barbecue. And of course, we've gone to a different place that we've never been to before. I'd say it was good. And here is our food. We got the three meats. We got burnt ends. We got pulled pork and we got brisket as well as uh, tater tot casserole and mac and cheese. Having a flight at Fultz Idol, which is always a stop when we're in Dallas area. Something a little bit different, a minor league baseball, but with this baseball, there's something very different. At this ballpark, they have a lazy river in the outfall. Uh, today is a 21 and older Lazy River, so it's going to be fabulous. I will say it was a very lovely time, very different experience. I wouldn't call it a Lazy River, at least with adults. Uh, it is more like a pool, but until 8 o'clock it's $2. Uh, after that it's half price. Your choices are uh, Twisted Tea, Truly, Miller's uh, Light, so not bad. It was uh, definitely a different experience. Fun. Day 17, back on the road. Our original plan was to stop at a very small zoo. However, the weather is not cooperating. So, we're gonna continue driving onto a brewery. I don't know. We'll see what today. Uh, we're still 16 plus hours away from home or so. Yeah, with three days. It's the final three days of the adventure. up seeing Deadpool. Now we're in Baton Rouge. Uh, we drove for about probably six hours or so today. Yeah, today. Um, we are now at Tap 65, which is a different combination. It's a restaurant and a self beer pouring bar. Yep, Indian Fusion. So if you've never been to one of these self pouring beers, there's a whole bunch of taps on the wall that kind of describes the uh, beers, you put a card in that's connected to your credit card, and uh, you will pour your beer. It's a little bit foamy. We decided to get their chicken sandwich, and their fries are a little uh, spicy, but it's Very good se seasoning, yes. And then the sandwich itself. Made our way to Mid City Beer Garden. Wonderful, like adorable place. Yeah, great they, menu. they have about 60 tacks or so. And I'm drinking uh, Just Jam. And drink, you're drinking a Nitro. Uh, very uh, good selection. For nitro Milk Stout by Flying Tiger. Uh, it's a good selection from anywhere. Uh, there's beer from Oklahoma that we had a couple days ago. Almost ordered it. It was very good then. We are at LSU with Mike the Tiger. It is day 18 and might be our last day, full day of the road trip actually doing something as we need to get back in two days. Let's see if we get a better picture of Mike. There he is. We are now at the Abita Mystery House. On day 18. I honestly am not sure what this is. A mystery house. It's a mystery. So it's five dollars to enter and you pay after you explore. So we'll show you everything that's cool that we see. Is like this. Yeah, like this robot cash trash kid. There's a, a cat. And then there's interactive like buttons here. And you push it. Look the car's moving. Up it goes. And the cats now on my leg. You are allergic to cats. It's probably not a great idea for you to be yeah. snuggled by mittens here. He's cute though, or she. I think this might be my favorite so far. 
that person jumping on the bed. This action might be my favorite thing I've seen so far. Uh, you get quarters, free quarters to play. It's like things are terrifying. It's lovely. That's something else. There are multiple small little houses in like places and yards. It just keeps going. And there's a UFO in our airstream. Two other things we've seen on this road trip. After probably the most unique attraction we went to, we are now at a beta Beer company? Uh, brewing beer, company? Yeah, brewing company. I'm not sure if it's beer company or brewing company. Definitely the most famous but, like Louisiana beer place. Yes. It is brewing company. And then the courtyard. Actually pretty pretty cute over here. The little fountain. Very New Orleans. -y. Yes. That is. They definitely have a lot of different options, and of course, we went with a beer flight, and probably uh, the creamsicle IPA has been our favorite so far. Oh, it's amazing. 7%, and it tastes just like a creamsicle. It's wonderful. Our next stop is Oa, but I don't think we're here for the theme park. No, we're just kind of making our, making, making our way back home. Make your way back home, stretch your legs, and go into the moonshine. Today and yesterday was a lot of driving. We're currently in Panama City at Duplin Winery. Which is uh, cool space. Yeah, it's a very uh, neat place. Uh, they do tastings for $15. Yep. Um, we're waiting probably about 40 minutes or so uh, to do a tasting, but it's good to get out of the car and then we're in the head uh, for another two hours. With the $15 wine tasting, you get uh, 10 different samples, sometimes 11. And they give you a book with all the prices and all the different wines. You get chips and dip, which we've already eaten. And uh, then you get a free glass of wine later. And with the citrus tower in the distance right there, I'm about to pass it. That means our adventure has come to an end. It was quite an adventure. It was. Nin 19 days. 19 days, including the two travel days. 11 different states. Mm -hmm. 4,456 miles on the car. Shout out to the car. Didn't break at all. Good job. No, buddy. yeah. It is uh, has a lot of miles on it. I feel like we did so many things on this trip. We, we did. So many zoos. So many drinks. Like a gallon bucket of booze. Yeah. <laughs> we get to ride the new fire in the hole. We you know, stayed in an Airstream trailer. Went to Roswell. Yep. Ate a 22 ounce steak. Oh man, so much stuff. It, it was awesome. We watched a baseball game from an adults only booze filled lazy river. Yes. It was an adventure and uh, thank you guys for watching videos like this. We would not be able to go on this kind of insane cross country road trip without people watching these videos. So thank you, thank you, thank and you. And so thank much. you uh, for sticking around this long if you made it this far. Yeah. Uh, and thank you so much for watching.